Greetings, Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from somewhere deep inside the butthole of the nether in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were working on the Molmart Bazaar, including installing some so weed ass trolley racks. And in this episode, my friends, we're going to finish off collecting this sweet ass glowstone over here. And then we are going to venture to a place that we have not yet seen in season number four. Can you guys guess where that is? Oh yeah, baby, we're going back to Silkworm Gang Island and it is going to be freaking sweet. Sit back and relax, my sabba diggity dogs. Let's play some Minecraft survival. Well, my friends, you might be quite surprised to hear... But it has been relatively quiet down here in the nether. I've been here for about an hour or so. And uh, col I've collected about almost five stacks of glowstone now, which is pretty good. I've spent most of the time trying to find glowstone. I've pretty much collected all of the, uh, the adjacent and available glowstone around our very first nether portal temple. So I've come all the way over here. This is actually our nether portal uh, to the Amazonian village called Amazonia. And uh, there's a whole bunch of glowstone around here, actually. So this is kind of like an untapped area for glowstone. You can see there's a nice little patch down there. There's another patch over here. So at least when we run out of glowstone again, I'll know where to come to, to get it. But um, I've, I've had to shoot a couple of arrows at some flying freaking babies of doom. And other than that, it's been pretty chill down here, man. You know, the nether is actually kind of a relaxing place. If you don't get molested by, uh, <laughs> by ghasts, it's actually quite nice down here. Like, it's it's very calm. You don't have to really worry about nighttime. You know, you don't have to worry about spawnages or a whole bunch of freaking things killing your villagers. You know, I have an entire population of mole cities to worry mole, mole citizens to worry about now, my friends. I've got a I have an entire city of people depending on me to sleep when the sun goes down. Do you have any idea what kind of pressure that is? Have you ever had to just sleep on demand? Well, let me tell you something, my friends. It ain't easy to do, okay? It is major pressure being the freaking mayor of a giant-ass city, man. Especially when zombies spawn at night. So coming to the nether is actually kind of like a... It's kind of like a, a nice respite, really. You know? It's... I don't know. It's, it's, it's oddly peaceful. That's, that's what I'm going to say. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I want to collect as much glowstone as I possibly can because thinking about uh, the Molmart Bazaar, in the last episode, we kind of saw all of the places that we'll need to add glowstone to. We still need to add glowstone to most of the chests uh, near the back end of the Molmart Bazaar. And uh, that's going to take quite a lot of glowstone to do. We need to add glowstone into the nether market. We then need to add glowstone all the way around the, w the outside wall of the Molmart Bazaar. And on top of that, we're going to need to add glowstone um, on the, the, the beams that, that are holding up the roof of the Molmart Bazaar because zombies can actually spawn on top of those beams. So we need to get everything lit up there too. Um, so, you know, there is still a whole bunch of freaking glowstoning that we need to do to get that Molmart Bazaar as secure as we possibly can. Um, but, you know, one, how, much, how many stacks have we got here? We've got one full stack of glowstone. And basically one full, we basically have two full stacks of glowstone, right? I, th I think that's going to do pretty nicely, my friends. I think, I think that'll do us for now. So I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to head back to, to, uh, to Mole City and I'm going to get prepared for an adventure. Because, guys, it is time that we go and find some more gold, iron, diamonds and some freaking ass sweet loot. And that is exactly what we're doing today. Welcome back to my bedroom in the Molehole Castle, my friends. And man, I am so pumped for today's episode. Because guys, we are going on a freaking adventure, man. You know, we have been crafting the Molemart Bazaar now for a, a butt ton of episodes. And you can see from here that it is looking freaking sweet. But man, have we spent a long time making that Molemart Bazaar. And I need to head off and have an adventure, man. Because... You know, I love freaking Minecraft adventures and it, it has been a while since we've been on one. Although, the last one that we went on did not end very well. I mean, let's let's be brutally honest with ourselves, guys. We died the last time we went on an adventure. So, 
to be honest, I'm a little bit uh, nervous, shall we say, to go on an adventure. Um, I'm kind of skitterish. Also, I don't have any sweet gear. All of my diamond armor is basically broken, which is why I put on this new set of iron armor. Oh yeah, this is going to be an iron adventure, my friends. And uh, we still need to collect a few things for this adventure. I want to take a boat with me. Because uh, I want to venture past Silkworm Gang Island, right? That's why we're going to head out to Silkworm Gang Island. Man, we are totally out of weed over here. We're going to have to take one stack of birch wood over here. We need a bucket of welder, though, before we head out. And the reason that I want to go to Silkworm Gang Island is because most of the adventuring that we've done has been from Amazonia. So we've gone to Amazonia via the nether, and then we've headed off into the unknown. And that's basically been the path of most of our adventuring to date. And uh, I want to try a different route, man. I want to head over to Silkworm Gang Island and, uh, you know, see if we can find something, I don't know, something that we haven't seen yet. Like a jungle temple, for example. We haven't stumbled across one of those yet. And I don't think there are many, um, many, I haven't seen many rainforests around Amazonia. And by the way, guys, one of you freaking cyber dogs, man, you guys, are, you guys have the best eyeballs in the world, man. One of you guys spotted that I had left this crafting table over here in dog mail. And for those of you guys who watch Dog Mail, the footage is in fast forward and it's covered in like in, in a let in, it's covered in lettering from from uh, Cyber Dog's emails that they send me. So I don't know how you freaking saw that, man, but you did. And now your OCD can rest, my friend. I, I have collected the crafting table and we're going to be taking this crafting table with us, too. All right. We've got arrows for our janky ass bow. We've got a butt ton of iron pickaxes. We've got a couple of swords. We've got a diamond shovel. We've got a bow. We've got some armorage. We've got a bucket of welder, and I think that's pretty much all we need, man. We've got like 38 potatoes, 64 carrots. That's that's probably not enough. I'm not actually sure if we have any more taters around here, though. I, th I think I've consumed them all. Let's have a quick look in the furnace side. Any taters up in here? Man, if they are, they're going to be stanky. Damn. No, no taters up in here, man. I'm pretty sure 38 taters and 64 carrots is gonna... not gonna be enough. Ain't that gonna be enough? I don't know, man. Let's check our food storage... Uh, our food storage system over here. We've got some cooked chicken. I'll take that bit of cooked chicken. We've got a whole bunch of cookies. That's not really gonna help. We've got some melons. We've got... Oh, man. We are totally out of food. Also. Well, this is gonna be a carrot fueled adventure my friends. We're going to come back from this one orange. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. I think I'll put the taters away for now. Because, uh, you know, those are starch, man. That's where we're going to get the majority from our energy from. Whoa! What in the jazz? <laughs> oh, that was some glitchiness over there. But guys, let's head up into Grand Molehole Station. Because it is adventure time, man. I'm ready to rumble. I, like, I came back from work today. I spent the entire day at work thinking about this adventure. Thinking about where we could go, what we could find, how freaking sweet it was going to be. And uh, I, I got back from work, I don't know, it must have been about 30 minutes ago. I had a sandwich. And I ate that sandwich so quickly that I, I, I have a bit of indigestion right now, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, my, my stomach ain't agreeing with me, man. I also had a, a, a baguette. A very cheap-ass baguette, actually, for that matter. For lunch. And uh, that cheap ass baguette has turned and literally turned into lava in my stomach. And uh, it ain't feeling good, man. But I don't care, bros. <laughs> I don't care because it is adventure time. Plus, there's a whole bunch of you cyber dogs who have not yet seen Silkum Gang Island. And the, the journey to Silkum Gang Island is a, an adventure in itself. So let's uh, get into this minecart over here. This takes us to Silkum Gang Island and go on a little cruise. All the way to Silkum Gang Island. And this is actually a great opportunity for uh, some of you new cyber dogs to see some of Rentopia that you may have not seen already. Now, let me try and explain to you guys who are new, who have not watched all of my episodes. I'm so angry with you! Whew, man. But uh, there's maybe some of you guys who have not watched all of my Minecraft survival episodes. And uh, in Season 3, we built... A fort away from Rentopia, or away, well, the whole place is Rentopia, away from Mole City and the Molehole Castle, and we called it Silkworm Gang Island. And the reason that I called it Silkworm Gang Island 
is because when I was a junior at school, I was the leader of a gang called the Silkworm Gang. Oh yeah. And uh, it, was the, it was the most badass gang in my school. Don't be fooled by the, um, by the name. I know some of you might be saying, Silkworm Gang, that is a pretty lame-ass name for a, for a gang. <laughs> and we're, we're going backwards up in here, man. Uh, Cal, you're about to meet your maker, bro. Because you just interrupted not only my journey, but my story flow. So take an arrow to your cow butt. Bastard. Um, anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. I was the leader of the Silkworm Gang. And it was the most badass gang in all of South Africa, okay? And as I was saying, don't be fooled by the pansy-ass name. I know some of you guys are saying, Silkworm Gang, that sounds like a girl's gang, you know? And if it was a girl's gang, it would be a perfectly respectable girl's gang. Let's be honest. But it wasn't a girl's gang. It was a boy's gang, and I was the freaking leader, okay? And to get into the Silkworm Gang, even, even before you were accepted within the Silkworm Gang... You had to pass an initiation test. And that initiation test was to give me your sandwiches that your mama had made you for lunch. And if I approved of your sandwiches, then you got into the gang. But there in the distance, my friends, we can see the silhouette of the Silkworm Gang Fort. We're going to head into the underwater tunnel over here, which is the link between basically the Mole City um, Island and the, um, and the Silkworm Gang Island. And this is... <laughs> This takes us all the way around this tree to take us up into the Silkworm Gang Island Railway Station. Once, once we get there and stop glitching. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, man, it has been a long ass time since we've been in here. This, my friends, is Silkworm Gang Island. Look at that, bros. It's looking sweet. Now, there is a rule in Silkworm Gang Island that anything that we craft in Silkworm Gang Island... Or anything that we need to use in Silkum Gang Island can only come from the island. So we are not allowed to bring any materials from, uh, from another land into the island. So everything that you see around here has been crafted from what we have found or grown on the island. And that was basically what we did in season number three. And at the end of season three, we shipped in some villagers. Now, I don't even know if they're still alive. They are alive! <laughs> Sweet! They're alive and kicking. We shipped in some of uh, Griswold and Hippolyta's... Um, children here, really. And they are they are basically the gang members of the Silkum Gang Island, man. And as you can see, they seem to have made themselves at home here, man. They are growing some croppage up in here. There's some melons growing. That's looking pretty sweet. And uh, this is basically the island. And there's a villager climbing the stairs. What? That villager is climbing... That is crazy, man. I never... Dudes... Is that even... I don't even... My mind has just been blown. Because this is a spiral staircase that goes all the way up into the Silkworm Gang fort. This is the fort, right? And that villager has somehow got, it, got herself all the way up there. And even if she gets up into the top of there, she can fall through this hole into the Goxy drop over here and survive the fall. Man, my mind has just been blown. <laughs> but guys, let me take you around the circumference of uh, the Silkworm Gang Island fort. And as you guys can see, man, it is a badass little fort. It's basically like a little village up in here, man. And uh, we, man, it took basically an entire season to build this thing. Uh, it was no mean feat, especially considering that everything that we used had to come from the island. And uh, we went on a couple of, of adventures to find some iron and coal. And man, it was crazy. It was awesome, though. Um, and as you guys can see, man, we got some sweet ass views from the Silkum Gang Island Fort here. This is kind of like the um, the defense wall, right? So you can walk all the way along the top of the wall structure to get like a really nice view of everything around. Also, you know, we need to be able to see when the Space Gang is coming to attack, man. The Space Gang is going to come from that direction over there. Now, the Space Gang at my school was my rival gang, right? Led by that butthole Gareth, who was my arch-freaking nemesis at school. Gareth, I hate your ass! <laughs> Uh, and we still need to build the space gang actually for Gareth. But guys, we better we better sleep, man, because it is nighttime, and these villagers are um, unprotected right now. So 
I'm going to head up all the way to the top of the Silkworm Gang Fort. It has been a long time since we've been here, man. And I don't know where that villager has gone, but I'm assuming she's up here. <laughs> Checking her! Is she looking off into the distance? She's looking off into the distance. She's like, I miss my home. I miss my daddy. I miss my mama. What the jazz? Where did she go? Did she go? Okay, I'm, I'm just so confused, man. That villager is blowing my mind. Um, <laughs> where, where did she go? Am I tripping? Yo, villager! Did she, did she fall? Did she climb up? Down? Okay, I'm confused. She's gone. She ran away, man. Anyway, let's, let's take a little bit more of a tour of our fort over here, guys. If we come over to this side of the fort, we've got a couple of more rooms up in here. I think I built like a battle room up here somewhere. Oh yeah, here's, here's like the battle room. Here's where we would plan the defense of Silkworm Gang Island from those buttholes from the Space Gang. This is where we'd be doing our, our planning up in here, man. And uh, I'm, still, <laughs> I'm still trying to find out where that freaking villager went. And do, can we go up more? Is there another room? No, I think that's it. I think those are the only rooms here. But that's looking pretty badass, man. This place is sweet. Um, and yeah, it kind of... I just wanted... I wanted to build like a really natural looking fort. And I think it turned out pretty freaking well, man. This is the first time that I've been here in a long, long time. Um, <laughs> probably in like six months. And I'm digging it, man. It is freaking sweet. Oh, there is actually... There is more... There are more rooms up here. Check it out. There's another room up here, I think. It's like the crow's nest up here, I think. This is where we get like an even sweeter view of all the islands. Actually, this is a perfect position to have a look at where we want to take our next adventure from. I'm thinking about heading off into this direction. Just getting on this boat and just sailing, man. Just, just going that way until we hit land. And what we could do, if it's really, really far, maybe we could start, uh, make, we, we could make another nether rail network and connect whatever we find out there to, um, to the nether. That could be pretty sweet. I'm kind of worried about this villager though, man. Like, I don't know where she's gone. She must have died, right? I'm assuming she died. I think she may have... <laughs> I think... I think she may have committed suicide. I think she may have climbed up there and she missed her freaking mama so much that she jumped off. All right, pieces, man. That's tragic. Tragedy, tragedy has stuck, has struck. Silkworm Gang Island. I'm so sorry, your for the loss of your sister. Yeah, she's she's gone. <laughs> oh man. Oh no, she survived. And now and now she's she's in the storage room sulking. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know how you got here, man, but. You are you are a crazy ass villager. Maybe she maybe she can teleport, man. Maybe she's an X Man villager. That would be pretty sweet. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna make some doors <laughs> because I want these villagers to populate. And um, what I want to do is just get some doors installed on all of the rooms over here. There are actually some more little flats over here that I built. These are basically the bunk beds, the bunk rooms for the Silkworm Gang. Um, members. <laughs> so if you if you imagine if you're in the Silkum Gang, um, you you would live here. I would live up there because I'm the king of the Silkum Gang, obviously. And um, the, you minions would live in these little bungalows. I mean, they're they're pretty comfy. This one's got a double freaking bed in it, man. So don't complain too much. the The roof is a little bit airy. Yeah. Uh, if it rains, your butthole will get wet. But that's the price you pay for being in the most awesome gang in the land. And uh, that's that's all I'm gonna say, man. You know, that's in my opinion, is a price worth paying. Anyway, let's put all this jazz back here, because remember, guys, we're not allowed to take or bring anything to the island. And there's actually some emeralds and some gold and some diamonds here, man. And some lapis. And there's a whole bunch of doors here. A whole bunch of coal and iron. We need that. We're gonna leave it here, though, because uh, that is a part of Silkum Gang Island that we can't touch. But anyway, guys, this is Silkum Gang Island, man. What do you guys think? For those of you guys who are new cyber dogs and who have not watched my previous videos, just by the way, your buttholes are in jeopardy. I've got pickaxes in the mail. 
they're all in the mail and they're in courier service mail directly for your butts and they are sharp let me tell you but in any case for those of you guys who haven't seen silken gang island yet what do you freaking think man i think it's awesome out here it's really nice and calm and hopefully these, these villages are going to populate now i mean i would trade with them but this lady wants gravel emeralds gravel and an emerald for five flint lady do you know that i can make my own flint from gravel i mean that is just the worst trade that is the worst trade i think i've ever seen in a villager that i mean that is a terrible trade what is are you are you weeing in the corner what do you trade 14 chicken for an emerald wow that that, that is also not a good trade and i'm pretty sure that this suicidal uh, villager yeah she wants five diamonds for one emerald huh huh yourself i mean <laughs> that's just ridiculous so these are uh, these villagers need to populate man so that we can get some new villagers up in here and uh hopefully they can trade better but guys it is time it is time to head into the unknown to find something we haven't found yet and to just generally have a sweet ass little adventure man get our minds off the crafting because we've been crafting for freaking ever now and uh try and maybe find a village or best case scenario find a jungle temple and man i'm just being a butt up in here man how do i can i climb up this vine there we go sokum gang island it's been real smell you later <laughs> all right let's head in this direction over here guys oh yes i planted i remember before i left i planted a whole bunch of reeds i can't remember for what purpose i think I, oh i know i was trying to make bookshelves i think but then i realized that there's no cows so i wouldn't be able to make books i don't think there are any cows no, I don't, they're, they're, they're no cows on this island there's some there's some cats which i tamed other than that it's a pretty lifeless island Let's see if we can get a nice little view of silicon gun and look at that man that's so freaking sweet the space gang never gonna get up there man how, how are they gonna penetrate that bad boy ain't gonna happen all right my friends this is it it is time to head into the unknown find something sweet mostly i want to find a new location for strip mining i was having a chat with some cyber dogs on dogcraft.net we were in the live chat and yeah dogcraft.net does have live chat man freaking sweet um <laughs> and we figured out that the strip mine outpost is pretty much entirely stripped there is no nothing left for stripping out there man it is stripped completely and we and also uh the strip mine outpost doesn't have any of the new blocks like andesite and diacite and all of that jazz so we actually need to find a whole brand new 1.8 chunk where we can get all of those items and this is a sweet looking cave down here man check how cool that looks i'm pretty sure this is not a 1.8 chunk though that is unfortunate i wouldn't mind diving down there see what see what's up see what's cracking down there man let's go around this island see what's up in this direction and i'm just looking for anything unusual oh wait oh man i thought that was something weird but it's just a bit of swampage let's follow the northern star shall we let's just head in this direction oh you know what i didn't bring with me oh face palm edge i didn't bring a freaking compass i didn't bring a compass with me man all right well we're gonna have to we're gonna have to find some iron and some redstone and make our own compass that way we can get back man what is going on with this rent this chunk render rendering is just so ugly lord i don't want to look at this anymore man it's hurting my eyeballs let's get out of here all right this is it this looks like a, a little bit of new land that we've yet to explore let's just, let's just go in this direction i miss fang so much man fang used to make us instant steaks whenever we saw freaking cows Ooh, hello that looks promising 
Keep your eyes out for any torches. Because if you see a torch, it means we've been here. And this is a waste of freaking time. Hmm. Oh, I know what's going on here. This is our old 1.3 area. And this is the brand new area when we did the, uh, the transformation. So this is probably... Hmm. This is... We probably want to be heading in this direction. Yeah, we definitely want to be heading in this direction. So for those of you guys who don't know, I think it was in Season 2... No, I, no, it was in Season 3 where we actually used um, MC Edit to paste our old 1.3 world, or a, a big chunk of it, into a brand new Minecraft seed so that we could get all of the new 1.7 stuff at the time. Because we were running on like a super, super old 1.3 uh, seed. And that's why you see those like ho that horrible line over there. Oh my goodness, the sun is freaking going down. I think if we, if we just head a little bit more in this direction, as soon as I see like andesite or diacite or granite, I'm going to settle into an adventure, man. I just want to find a cave. Okay, the moon is coming. Okay, um, yeah, th this is not good. This, this, this is not good. We need to make a house. Chickens, bros, you ain't going to help me, man. I need a cave or something. Pigs? Bros? Give me some help here, man! Send me in the right direction! This is a cave made out of stone. <laughs> this is like... This is like Brighton. <laughs> this is like the most uncomfortable freaking beach on earth. Right here, man. Check out this place. There's a skeleton over there, though. I saw Anderson. Oh, here we go, diorite. Okay, guys, we are in some new chunkage. This is exactly what we need. This is what we're looking for. Now, wow, this. Oh, there's a little cave over here. There's an ender butt over there, though. Let's start small, shall we? Let's start small, man. The last adventure we went on, as I as I've already mentioned, did not end very well. So, I'm gonna just take it slow, man. Collect some coal. Collect some iron. Hopefully get some gold, because we need some we need some more gold so that we can uh, start finishing off Granny Dog's monument, man. It's like a never-ending build. But I don't want to go too deep too quick. You know what I mean? And no, that is not what she said. <laughs> oh, man. Check out this little cave, man. This is a pretty sweet little cave. This actually does go pretty deep, though. Uh, hmm. Precarious! Precarious! 